Hey dudes and dudettes, whether you're a working professional or a filmmaking hobbyist, protecting your data from camera to computer has never been more important. I've worked on hundreds of commercials, films and TV series as a DIT. So today I'm going to show you two industry standard programs which will help you safely transfer your files from your camera to your computer. We're going to explore one paid version and one free version. These are the tools that I use, so let's get into it. So whether you're on a PC or a Mac, it doesn't make a difference as both of these programs work on either system. Let's start with my favorite data duplication program, Hedge. Hedge is great because it's super fast, reliable, and stable. And if for some reason a transfer does fail, then Hedge will have your back with its dupe detection. All you need to do is just restart the transfer and Hedge will just pick up where it left off. Now, if you're like me and you have multiple backups of your work, you can actually use this feature to speed up transfers to regular destinations. For example, you might be cloning an entire drive uh, like this one and only want to copy the new data without having to specify what not to copy. Hedge's dupe feature will automatically do this for you by first scanning the destination drive for existing matching files that will then not be copied. You then don't end up with a ton of duplicated files. So let me show you how easy Hedge is to use. You just grab your media card. So this is one from my Ninja 5. And then I'm going to put my destination, which is here. And if I want to choose my destination, I can just go in and choose my source folder and go browse. And because it's all camera media, I'm just going to choose that as my source folder. And now I'm going to go into where I'm saving it to and I'm going to browse for a project folder and I'm going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call it camera A mag001 create and I'm just going to hit select and now I just hit add transfer and Hedge for Mac is just going to power through copying that data. It will MD5 checksum it so that I know at the end that it has been duplicated, copied correctly, and if any data is missing, it's going to tell me in the report. Now, obviously this method is a lot slower than just dragging and dropping, but if you're serious about your data and you're serious about working in the film industry, then you should be using some form of data duplication program like hedge now currently hedge retails for 129 us dollars but they do have sales going on every now and then so if you keep an eye out on the website then you can usually snap it up for a little bit less and then every couple of years you'll need to pay for a relicensing fee but the relicensing fee is really just paying for updates and once it's done, it's done. So you can just jump into your drive and then you can go to where we've just copied it, Media Rushes, Mag1, and you'll see in here that you get a transfer log. And if we open this transfer log, it will tell us a direct list of all the files that it has copied and whether it has done it successfully. So it's a good way to check. And you can go back through manually and check that off. And depending on you know, how deeply you wanna go into this as a DIT or just for your own uh, use is really up to you. Now, my other favorite program is something that you may not expect. It's actually DaVinci Resolve, which is really, really handy if you're working as a DIT, doing data management, dailies, and one lights on set. So let me show you how the data duplication feature inside Resolve can work for you and it's free. There's this great feature in Resolve that not a lot of people know about, which is called the clone tool. So if you come up here into Resolve and click the clone tool, it's going to ask you if you want to add a job. So what we can do is add job and it's going to ask us what our source is. And it's just going to say, drag the source into here and then drop a destination in here. So let's go into here. Media rushes from resolve. And now I'm going to go and grab my Ninja. And I know that it's the whole drive that I want. And now I'm just going to hit clone. It's basically doing exactly the same thing as Hedge, and it is also going to run a checksum on the data to make sure that when everything's copied across, it's done correctly. And it's in Resolve and it's free. Now, the great thing about using Resolve is, is while you're duplicating media, you can actually go off and continue your edit. And when it's done, 
it'll tell you when it's done. There you go, it's done. So as you can see, they're both great options that make your life much easier on set. Personally, I prefer to use Hedge because it's a standalone product and I like to run Resolve at the same time without it being inhibited. But if you don't have the budget, that's totally understandable to stick with Resolve. Just don't drag and drop files as that's a quick, quick way to a disaster. So hopefully this has helped you out guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.